It's um, Thursday, 18th of October 2012. I just uh, got a notice for John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand, uh, that um, he has 72 hours from four, from 9 o'clock this morning uh, till Tuesday the 22nd of October to refute our Moai Crown Confederation affidavit. Right. In that affidavit, it states that Maui Crown Confederation legally owns the water in New Zealand. The surrounding waters, and the sea, and the rivers, and the lakes. And that's under our Admiralty Law of King William, the fourth jurisdiction of our flag trading flag to sell water or produce from this country to Britain. That is our, our right, our flag jurisdiction for our trading ships to sail around the world in free passage protection from King William the Fourth of England. King William the Third drafted the Acts of Parliament uh, for commercial uh, travel for British ships around the world to trade with other countries. One of them was ours. That King William, before he died, gave us his authority, his protection uh, from his Government of England, Westminster Parliament. He um, drafted uh, the partnership agreement between him and the Hapu, the Moai Tahitian 13 chiefs from uh, north. Um, Puhi uh, and Sesta. So those are commercial valuable um, flag um, constitution for us to be self-government. 1835 Declaration of Independence Day is on the 28th of October this month at Waitangi, North Bay Bear Islands. And we'll be celebrating that event each year with our own Maori government. Now, John Key, you have to refute my claim that Maui owns the water. You made a statement that no one owns the water on the news, on TV, in front of the world, in front of New Zealanders. In that case, if you say no one owns the water, then we're going to build charge you from our Maui sovereign state government of Aotea, New Zealand, for all the water that you've been charging rates and selling litres of water to the public and the homeowners here and businesses, private businesses. When you say no one owns the water, we're going to stick to you right back to 1840. Okay? That's another bill you get. So you put your foot right in it this time and always. Your security is lax. You've got no protection for citizens of this country that we have to stop you from doing that, from letting this country go to offshore interests when it belongs to us. We don't give you consent to do that. You and your iwi, Maori iwi, corporate companies, they don't belong to us, the hapu. They belong to you, the crown, right? and prosperities corporate company offshore right? and your company Her Majesty the Queen arrived in New Zealand and the Queen owns that you see she has no business with us she doesn't even come on the marais to talk to us and, and stay with us and sleep with us in our house right? that's our meeting house common law court that John Key you came in there and then and sat in there and came in there we sat them I put the proclamations in front of them and Sue took two hours to read it to him and sacked him and his government loans off our land. You should have gone. But you're still there, John Key. You're in treason now. And now you, you, you've got this water. You say that no one owns it. We do, commercially, own that water. We can sell it because we have a right to under the King of England. Okay? You've got nothing. Where did you get your admiralty law from? Don't, we're going to take our flag off the pole at Waitangi and put it on our flag, flagpole, you'll have nothing. 
there's a British flag and, and, and our Confederation flag, 1835, Declaration of, of this independent state flag, that's ours. We take it off that pole, you've got nothing. Right? You've got the Navy flag, there's nothing. It doesn't have jurisdiction from Westminster Parliament to higher power. We do it with our flag. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to legislate it off in Westminster Parliament. I'm going to take a contingent of um, a delegation to the Hague and to the United Nations. We're going to invest to do that now. And our Maori government and Kingi Toto, chief up, up at uh, Puhi uh, Ancestral Lands, will take his title. He's a gatekeeper with that flag, belongs to Puhi, and uh, he's 13 chiefs. Don't belong to anybody else. They're the ones that made the contract. Right, the contract? Trading agreement. Trade. That's what it is. A trading flag and free passage through the world with our ships. We're going to put it on our aircraft, our ships, our boats, our planes. Right? That's ours. I'm going to take it and tell Hirschfeld, our Moai Crown Confederation barrister criminal lawyer. We've got a lot of crimes from you, John Key, and your government going to court. We're going to take class action case against you, the Queen, the Pope, the Rothschild Banks, the City of London, Buckingham Palace, the Queen's private company, Her Majesty the Queen and Royal New Zealand, your company, belongs to the Queen, taking all of you, trillion, trillion. We're going to build a whole lot of you. Right? The indigenous people of the world, that's what this belongs to. That's what Moa is. It's people of the world, <coughs> uh, government of ourselves. Okay? Just let you know. Please tell all your politicians I've sent emails this morning with that affidavit you've got in the mail. You must read it. You must refute it. If you don't and stay silent, we'll accept your silence as ceding your sovereignty, your titles, your everything on these lands, all these properties, the titles, everything, back to Moai Crown. Okay? And the Confederation is the commercial side of the flag. We have the authority to do that. Right? We have taken stock of ownership of our flag back from it being not used yet since 1835, 1840. We have self-government for five years. Now we're going to be self-government again with that flag. That's ours. That's not yours. So we're going to put it through the law office in The Hague and the United Nations and Westminster Parliament to make us a trading nation state. That's what you haven't got. You and your voters are on this side with the Queen. No constitution, no jurisdiction, and no authority over us. On this side, the King, the man, God, the man, and our male line DNA superior titles of Moai. Moai, the brand name Moai, is mana whenua, sunk into the ground. You see all my things on Facebook. That's our, our titles. And Kingy with the flag. Confederation flag is the trading nation state international trade agreement with the King of England and King William IV already registered in the United Nations as one of the 59 states, sovereign states. Okay? Now, please refute the claim this time. If you don't, you stand to lose every case that we're going to take you to court because Maui owns the land, the water, the everything that you're in occupation on here. We'll seize the whole lot to pay for your crimes and every other voter that's supporting you to put you in government and you committed treason by appointing Jerry Matapalai Andrews. Andrews, St. Andrews Church, see, see, Church, Church of England. You appointed him to be a Governor General when we sacked the Governor General and sack the Queen. He's not supposed to do that. So, got issues with that. And then, thank you very much. We'll see you later. And you aliens, you behave yourself because this one is in real trouble. John Key, the Prime Minister of New Zealand. And Jerry Makwarai, Andrews, the Governor General, and Chris Wilson, the Attorney General. I've got a bone to pick with him on 61 Cook Street in Auckland here, the title of the land that he sold unauthorised illegally, fraudulently, corruption. Thank you.